Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Case Blue, the size of the campaigns. Alright, it's just, every time I gotta say that particular uh, name, I'm, I'm just, I, I tend to say Barbarossa because I played that so often. Okay, well, uh, we are, in fact, what's this? Alright, yeah, uh, we are in fact assaulting uh, this area. Now, I've pretty much expanded all of my... Um, expanded as in expended all of my air power here to whittle this area down I've also hit the uh, uh, the um, the actual uh, coastal army headquarters and it would be great if I were to crush these guys into a corner and then take care of whatever's left that would probably be better than taking on all of these front troops in like an attempt to break all of them these are very small groups they're mixed units mostly I suspect we can do serious, serious damage as soon as we take care of the anti-air. Which will probably be the main target for whatever artillery we can bring up here. So that's that's going to hap happen. And we've got the Kaalgerät here, which is a great siege engine. And um, it's going to help us a great deal. Uh, in fact, we're going to move the Kaalgerät up uh, somewhat... To, um, to be clear and present at the line. So we'll put them in the um, in the square here. There we go. And also this group, another Calgarate. These Calgarates are just <laughs> just fantastic. They're they're huge siege engines, basically, and and they're insane. They do <laughs> a shit ton of damage. They're just really not very quick <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons. Um. Yeah, we've got uh, S-boats, U-boats, whatnot, all kinds of stuff. I'm sort of considering deploying them here. With reason. Because these guys get supplied by ocean, uh, or water, whatever. And I think just getting the subunit out would probably be beneficial to us. I'm not sure how to actually um, deploy the sub. Um, if I even can, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I have no idea. So that's the thing. Uh, I, I'm, pfft, well, we'll get back to that. Whoa, holy shit. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, these guys, they're, they're, they're going to be toast. We already broke through their first line. And a lot of this has been bombed and, and artillery into submission. So that's always good. I think we're going to take out the Taman route as that's their main route for... Um, for basically going, if we can even, I don't know, I have no idea. It would. That's probably where they're, where most of their shipping is coming from. What's this? A coastal unit of what? How's this a a thing? Do we know? Is it like? Oh, okay. So it's like coast guard, right? I get it. The Romanians here are are helping us out. Anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that once I figure out what to do with it. And what are these? Hungarians. More Hungarians. Great. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep them in reserve for now. As we don't immediately need them. Now, this is an opportunity. Look at that. Oh, mine. Do we have any air units available? Any less? Nope. Nope. I've pretty much used them all. Rostov is going to be... Our next objective. What are these? And how well supplied are they? Oop. Do we know? That's actually pretty strong. Can we still bomb the shit out of them? Well, we could. With the reserve troops. It's all reserve troops who can bomb them. Uh, artillery attack. Yeah. Okay, that sort of suppressed them, but <laughs> didn't do all that much. Let's see if we can crush them. We'll use infantry. 78 versus 69, actually. We would need quite a bit more. 98 out of 100 with engineers. Maybe we'll throw in the Viking division. They seem to be in good shape. Ooh, we can overstack this. Yeah, we'll throw in the Viking division. There we go. Attack. Get rid of them. 
panicked, and the fact that they panicked mean, means in this case that they actually dispersed, which is wonderful. All right, good job, guys. Very good job, if I say so myself. Um, all right, so uh, let's see. Where can you move? <gasps> you can move, like, to the rear of these guys. That's really useful. There we go. Yeah, it's a it's a fast division. This is also a fast division. We will have them uh, move around the f flank here. Oh, that's actually what I, not what I wanted to do, but all right, fine. Let's still move these guys up. There we go. Get the Viking. Yeah, that's actually already almost a closed thing, so that's fine. Get these guys across across the river. We've got tanks too here, so that's nice. Having tanks here is an excellent opportunity. We have guards units, looks like. Yeah, those are guards. And some serious infantry stuff here. AT guns, a couple. Can we bomb this? What is this? Naval bombardment? Sure, bombardments on this hex. Sure. Can we. Do we have any. Preparing shore bombardment. Select participants. No. Nah. That's not going to do it, is it? Um, no, it, it, it's definitely not. They only have very few anti-tank guns here. I feel, I, feel, I feel it would be a good thing for us to consider. What's this? A, yeah, somewhat reduced tank units. We're attacking across a river. That's never good. I think we should get these guys to move out. Yeah, definitely. Let's move these units. Um, that's our reserve unit, so we're keeping that right there. Can we actually... Yes, we can. Okay, great. I think I'm going to take care of these militia. Oh, this is the weak flank. This is the weak flank. Let's see. Um, Before we do anything. 27th and 28th. Okay, list. So the 27th... Oi. What? Oh, and the 29th and the... Okay. Those are three units of the 298th. Okay, well, let's do the 298th. Why not? Sure. Versus 60. And we can probably throw in these guys. We overstack a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, we made them retreat. Great job. All right. Let's move in there with the units we can still move with. Oh, wow, we can still attack with these. That is even better. And we can probably cut through their lines somewhat. There we go, we'll do that. What are these units? Okay, those are militia. These are mortars, field guns and more mortars. Can we bomb them? We can, but that would cost us a lot. Not really planning on doing that. Let's just list. Let's not do that. Let's just do a regular attack. Maybe crush them with the uh, art, uh, with the tanks. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, attack this stack. Yeah, definitely. We're going to have to have those tanks support them. Uh, 85. That is a strong point right there. Can we overstack? Yeah, we can. We just did. <laughs> and... A full attack with everything. Yep, there we go. Attack. Crush them. Now, their artillery, once it's gone, we can move in across the river. That's even better. Wow. There we go. We definitely, we've got this. We've got this. Can you still move? No. You've all moved your full movement. That is a sad thing. Actually, you you could... Oh, that that thing could still move. You could still... No, couldn't you? No, you couldn't. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Ooh, can we do this again? Only with the Panzers. What kind of anti-tank capability do you all have? Let's have a look before we do anything. Because this is a large stack. Even though it's like... Yeah, they have AT guns, they have tanks, they have more AT guns. Yeah, this this would be bad. Even an AT, yeah, small AT guns, howitzers, trucks. There's all kinds of shit in this pocket. 
We really don't want to risk that. If I'm perfectly honest, we want to bomb that. If they if they can't move, which might well be the case, we may be in a very good position. Indeed. I am going to move one of these tank units up the flank, and then the other up the other flank. And then maybe move this one down. Can we move any of these down? Can you... Can you still move down? No. Okay, well, that that's, that's fine. I feel that that's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold them off, hopefully. Can we still move any of these? Ooh, look at that. Yes, we can. That is rather nice. What about you, you new engineers? Can the engineers move? They can. Uncanny. Can any of these still move? No. How about no? Nope, nope. This is a bit of a weak spot. The enemy might go for it. And when they do, well, <laughs> bad things tend to happen, you know. <sighs> Let's see. Um, but we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, they're all pretty much pooped. Except for these guys, they can still technically move, but they won't because they don't have the action points. That's that's okay. That is okay. I'm gonna say that's fine. Um. What about this army? Yeah, okay, that's actually really good. They're still perfectly capable of supplying all of these. Even though these guys are on the fringe. That's okay. I think we, we've really managed some chaos here. And if we can isolate these units, we're golden. We're, we're perfect. That that would be, that would be like the best. The bestest. You know what, if we could leave it here, or we could leave a gap for the enemy just to try and get into, and they'd be in the thick of things in no time. How many units are here? Oh, that's actually not what I wanted to do, but fine. Um, yeah, I wanted to see all of the uh, details here, if possible. Okay, so that's two two stacks. There's even a... Ooh. Okay, no, 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 never mind. It's fine. Well, I think I'll do... Let's put my our headquarters down here instead. Ooh. Oh God! I don't know what I've had, what I'm doing today. It's just it's not going very well for me. I think I'll move my headquarters down. Yeah, here we go so they can supply everyone properly. And I will also move these guys down here so that we have options. All right, now. Let's see, we still need to smash into this area here. So I'm kind of tempted to say, okay, what if, oh, look at that. Look at that, that is ripe, a ripe for the picking position, if we can pick it, if we can make it. These are all remains of troops with many, many weakened or improvised troops it looks like this is a stronger unit the 216th that's all they have really i mean the engineers and our their engineers what are they gonna do 900 of them uh 500 900 yeah that's all it's all pretty basic stuff if you will basic stuff oh wow this is so tempting how how are they in the at department they're okay they're actually okay. We have armor here, enemy armor, quite a lot of it. That's going to prove troublesome. So we might want to go for that instead. And they have a lot of, oh, they've grouped a lot of armor here. So whether or not we're going for that, that really completely depends on how successful we'll be at cutting them off. These guys, I probably have to cut those off. <laughs> Oh man, there's so much to do. I think I'm gonna try and cut these these guys off here. They only have five AT guns. What are they gonna do? Stop us with rocks? I don't know. It might be a trick, a trick by the AI, but I'm gonna go for it. I think the Leibstandarte Adolf Hitler, the first group of that, 71 versus 18, and we'll throw in some of the reserves there as well. There we go. Attack. Yep, they're retreating, weakened as they would be. 
and I think we'll move up with the Panzers. Yeah, we will. Is that that's that's actually not. There's two tank divisions there. Okay. That's actually fine. I'm okay with that because we have Leibstandard Adolf Hitler here, which sounds horrible. But these guys are are professionals. They're gonna do their jobs. So we're moving them out. If we do it now, would would it be in any way? Forty-eight is actually still pretty high. I think we should move some of these tank troops up. In that case, we have some some Panzers to actually um, move around, so that's nice. And we will. Uh, in fact, kind of thinking of moving them in this to gap here. Fighting in a forest is generally not not recommended. So I'm going to move them over here. Pretty much. And then have this one attacked by the um, 16th Panzer. 27. Alright, they'll be supported by some of the other Panzer troops, I guess. I don't know. No. I'm... I'm gonna have to have more troops. Maybe some infantry? Can we move infantry up? Up the poopert. We could finish this thing off. Uh, what are these? Uh, cavalry. Yuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm appalled by these guys. Uh, I think... I think... Uh, yeah, we're just... We'll take the 101st. And try and cut off the enemy here. Oh my. Yeah, that's gonna be... A wonderful way to do this. These Jaegers are in a perfect, almost perfect position here. Put the reserve troops in the forest there. Move up this unit uh, uh, down here. And then we'll go down Donetsk Basque uh, b base here. I'm just going to try and make a, a, a nice encirclement option here. What if we attack now? What can we bring? We can bring infantry, which is perfect. And we can bring some of the armor we brought. Maybe mm, the actual Panzer. Yes. Second, 16th Panzer Division versus 27. This should be an interesting fight. Broken and retreated. Wonderful. Which means that we can probably move into position here and close that gap but we shouldn't do that with, with armor armor is not particularly suited for that we might use these engineer troops here yeah we might i think that's an excellent plan there we go cut them off uh, these guys infantry move them up in, into the hills here all of them. There we go. We're really putting on the pressure now. These are mainly artillery guys. Can we do an artillery attack with these troops? We can. We would. 24. I want to keep my mobile troops out of this fight as much as possible. This reserve troop. Yeah, sure. Attack. Wow, we actually knocked out a tank. Huh. Didn't expect that. Or, well, we hit the tank. They're suppressed. Well, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I feel we should take out this, this stack now. With everything we have here. 89 versus 46. Should be interesting. Nope, that totally didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's fine. What about this one? List. Yeah, let's use everything we have. Crush them. Wow, we actually had to retreat with the engineers. Alright. Costly. Not very effective at all. Okay. Um, infantry can do this. 97th infantry is definitely up for the job. And the 68th. Sure. That's already enough. And we should just 
Leave it at one, almost 100. If they panic, we got them. Broken, broken panic. There we go. They're gone. Excellent job. These nice little pockets of resistance fights. I, I, I really dig them. They're nice. Yeah, let's move everyone across the river now. Let's get some infantry in there as well. And in there. And possibly in there. And then we have our armor here. Quite comfortably. Because we haven't actually moved them up yet. Huh. Now there's a choice here. Now I'm gonna just drive them all the all the way to the edge here. These are Sturm Sturmgeschütz. Sturmgeschütz could be very useful in the attack over here in whatever stack we're gonna meet there. Um, okay, who can still move? Could you still maneuver your? Yeah, you could maneuver across the river. We don't want that. No, we don't. Let's see. What are you? Um. Kind of tempted to go for that, but I know better not to do that. I'm, I'm going to leave it to the infantry once we can cut through this unit here. But we may need artillery and air support before that actually works. I think that would be wisdom. As for this flank over here where our mouse cursor is now comfortably sitting, we have this little mortar group. It's like oh, it's like oh, it's almost like the enemy left it there for us to to pick on. And I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm a bit I don't know what I should do with this. But these these guys are sitting there just so comfortably. I I, I <sighs> yeah, we're gonna take them down. We're gonna take them down with the uh, the 76th, 81 versus 27. Yeah, we'll make this a very clear full attack on these on this position. There we are. They're retreating. Oh, they're almost gone too. Nice job. We can still attack with these people. That is also a nice job. Because that means we can probably take down that mortar position. You know, you're gonna stay right there, that's fine. With actual infantry. Look at that. And we can just leave the panzers where they are for now. Take them down. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, they moved back. Which is perfect, because now we can do this. Look at that. Look at all the options we have. Ha! I like this. This is good. We have actually managed to break them uh, break them off here. And we're going to move our, our panzers up here. As far up as we can. Uh, I would say probably a good idea to... Move even further out. Look at that. We can just whip around the flank there like nothing else. These are infantry. Should we head in this far is the question. We could scare off some human units. Un humans. Yes, humans. That's right. Wow. I'm really tempted to just try and take down this group here. Because that's going to be a pain with all the armor. It really is. These mortar guys, meh, they're finished. Oh, well, okay, they only have those tanks. Let's go for a tank on tank engagement here. Why not? Three tank units of ours. Yeah, we've got we've got the odds for us right now. Start battle. Oh wow, we we clearly weakened them. And we can keep moving with this. This is so beautiful. Look at that. We can still keep moving. And we will. We will keep moving. Let's see. And uh, what of our engineers? Oh, we still have those troops as well. This is beautiful. What are you? Hmm. Alright. So, technically, we could take down their armor? Is that right? Two? Yeah. It's overstacking it, but we should right now. Okay, well. Costly. Very costly. 
but uh, we've got 88 millimeters there. We're can we do anything about you? No, not anymore. That's sad. That is very sad. Okay, what about you? You still move. You could move, but you probably not gonna be happy moving. Wow, this is this is a clusterfuck for the <laughs> for the allies, if I may. Oh man! All right, the sixtieth is still sitting there, and we still have these guys sitting here in the forest. Oh my god! Really? We could take them down with the first? Really? Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that. 28. And, uh, yeah, we'll use, the, we'll use these troops. Why the hell not? Versus 39. Use the engineers as well. There we go. Attack. Oh, well, we can do more. We can, we can stack more if we want. I, I guess we will. 200. Oh, wow. Could totally overstack this. It's ridiculous. Okay, that'll be that. They retreated. It was a very costly, a very costly attack, though, I believe. Infantry is dead. Retreating, dead, dead. Which infantry? Mine? Okay. I think... Yeah, well, we, we suffered some losses there, but wow, we pushed them away. We really did. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Quite happy with that, if I may say so. <gasps> These are armored troops! Oh my god, we still got a chance! <laughs> we got a... We still got a chance at punching through. And we will. We are so going to punch through. It's awesome. I love it. It is just the. Sh this is the shiz. The shiznids. And yeah, we're gonna support our armored uh, unit, obviously. Get these units in here. Get these units in here, supporting our line. Wow, we've actually got a good chance against this stack now. I think. 153 versus 85. That's overkilling it, but we're doing it. As well, okay, yeah, but that cost us a lot of tanks actually. In comparison, it's okay though. I really like the way this is developing. I really do. It's 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 really working out for us. What about this position? Lots of AT. Wow, that's a shit ton of AT and AA. Holy crap! All right, well, um, we have nobody who can. Sadly, but uh, we'll take care of you. Don't worry. Do we have any kind of... No. We don't. Eh. What about over here? Artillery? List? Oh yeah, we can totally bomb you with artillery. And we will. Oh wow, look at the amount of kills we make. There's so many units in that stack that it's actually almost near impossible not to be hit by that. And we'll also do the same here. We'll simply use the reserve troops to... Make victims. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Beautiful. Absolutely, stunningly beautiful. Yeah, these guys have been severely weakened. By that one particular attack. Wonderful, wonderful stuff here. We're, we're really pushing it now. This mountain range is going to be a thing. We should take care of these guys if we can. Can we? Viking can do that with the reserve troops. 27. Yeah, let's make this a full attack. Cut them out. Panicked. And gone. Because they couldn't go anywhere. Ha! Neat! Very neat, if I may say so. It's It's been a very successful round. And you know, it's, it's costly, these attacks. Especially if you go over a river, it's very costly. But are these semi-motorized infantry? They are. You know, once you once you do, you really do. You know, it's just, it works out. All right, let's get these Hungarians into position in the mountains. Oh, you can attack from there, can you? Hold on. What kind of stacks are we talking? Oh yeah. Remaining troops, 
So, with cavalry and all that. What about you? Oh my god, this is... It's like, this is a field day. We're having a great time here at uh, Voroshilovgrad. He's fantastic. We haven't even attacked here yet. Oh my goodness me. Oh, oh my goodness me. This is... Fantastic, exactly 100. Go for it! Panicked, retreated. Yeah, they're panicked. Of course they are, and we're gonna move in with infantry. Of course we are, there we go. Good luck with that. These guys are all getting into pockets. He's gonna have trouble moving all these units back next turn. It's beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. We have the 111th there, really? I didn't know. They're in this stack? Oh, they're over here. And they haven't moved. Really? What about these guys? Um, no. These. What are, what is this? Nothing to be too worried about, actually. Attack. Yeah, it's a weakened flank. 24. Go for it. Okay, they're broken. And they're retreated. Excellent. And they can still move. Look at that. Look at them go. <sighs> this is the best area of my game so far. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Can we overstack? We can. We can totally overstack it. And we got this. Well, maybe not. Hungarians actually retreated. However, we did weaken them considerably. And we are well on our way to Voroshilovgrad. And things are looking up. I can only say. Okay, hold on. Oop, what kind of stack is this? Oh yeah, that's the one we bombed. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be busy for a while. Let's see, can we attack with anyone here? No. Sad. But just the way it is. What about over here? No. Okay. Well, actually, I didn't check. Attack. List. Oh my. And 61. So if we can overstack this. And we can. We stand a pretty damn good chance. Stug Battalion. Yeah, maybe we should bring the Stug Battalion and not the 9th. 141. One out of 150. Sure. Panicked, panicked, retreated. Beautiful. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Can we still attack your stack? Only with these guys. Versus 111. Bad idea. Let's not do that. Very bad idea. Uh, we could still move you probably. Yes, we could. And we could move you in there. What about the Stug Battalion? In there. And now we actually have an interesting situation. But it's not strong enough to do... What, he, what we needed to do. Wow. Heavy fighting on the line. We are beating the Russians back. We really are. These guys, have they have they moved? Or they are unable to move? I think, uh, I keep forgetting when I moved and when I didn't move. Which is stupid, I know. Any of these troops available for movement? None. Then again, you know, what could possibly happen? They're going to try and close the gap between me and my headquarters. They'd have to cross a bridge. They'd be in a pocket. It's not going to be pleasant. So. I think what's left. Is our Hungarian friends. Romanian friends. Not Hungarians. Actual Romanians. Which is totally okay. What about this group? Ah, these are all weakened. Can we attack them still? Do we have any wing? The 71st can attack it. 86 versus 86. But they're weakened. Should we? No. I feel we shouldn't. Can we still do artillery attacks maybe? No. Okay, well. You know, that's, that's fine. That's okay. We have engineers here that we should move up, I guess. If we can. We can't. Okay. That is okay. I'm alright with that. These are all small groups, small pockets. Bigger pockets, bigger groups. 
Um, what about this? Ooh, yeah, we've got the 44th who can do something. We could do an attempt at pushing them back. Sure, why not? Yeah, they've retreated. I would say in full panic, but uh, still pretty damn good. Engineers not gonna move. I do understand that. Gonna move the fourth of those troops back here. 1800 men of our Hungarian troops just waiting. Waiting to cross the river there. This falls over here, by the way. Yes. I, I am very tempted just to try a river crossing here. They're waiting for me to do it. So, no. <laughs> they don't seem to have artillery worthy of use. We still have engineers and the, the other 20th uh, division apparently over here. Since we are attacking with the 20th division, we will move them forward. Will we use the engineers... Eh, for other for other things, I guess. Can we still move them up, though? I believe we can, and we probably should. I'll move them into this position here. That's fine. I. What about this stack? Nope. Okay. I think, all things considered, we're going to leave it here for now. I'm recording for about 36 minutes, which is plenty of time for me. I think we've got some really interesting breakthroughs going on. On all fronts. This one is a bit precarious, because I don't know how this is going to pan out. But we'll probably take care of this pocket and then punch through to Voronezh. We do have panzer troops here. Tank, tanks, if you will. But we also have very experienced troops here. So I think we should be okay eventually. I think we the think the last thing we'll do in this particular playthrough of the day. Whoa, what can we can we crush these guys? KV ones. These are actually quite strong. Whoa, that's a really strong, strong a really strong point. Yeah, we can only attack with one unit, which isn't gonna cut it. No, we won't. Nope, nope, nope. Can we bomb them? We can. Okay, try that. Why not? Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a card. And I think I'm going to request more tanks. I think infantry-wise we're in relatively good shape. But, uh, yeah, we, we can play a card for more... Request for more panzers. We have plenty of political points. 35 Panzer 4 G's. <gasps> Thank you. Awesome. And on that note, we're going to quit this particular recording. I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and or comment. And please also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again. Cheers.